Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner, and today I'm talking about hackers pilfering air rewards. On Monday, British Airways warned its reward members that bad guys were gaining unauthorized access to a limited amount of accounts. And really, this news probably first started on a popular flight forum where one of the rewards users mentioned that an attacker had gained access to his account and booked a flight to Spain. Later on, other users claimed that the reward miles had disappeared or their accounts had been locked. As it turned out, British Airways had detected some illicit account activity and had locked rewards accounts. Now, British Airways says their network hasn't been breached. Rather, they suspect bad guys are reusing the credentials they've stolen in some other breach on their website using automated tools. And this is a pretty common technique nowadays. If a bad guy can steal credentials from one website, since users tend to reuse their credentials, bad guys then often can access many other websites as well using those same credentials. So if you're a British Airway user, I wouldn't worry too much. Only some accounts were affected. Nonetheless, I highly recommend you change your British Airways account password. And there's a FAQ page on British Airways site that tells you how to do this. More importantly, it perfectly illustrates why you need to use a different password everywhere. I've said this many times before. Make sure you have a very strong long password and don't use the same password over and over again. Now it may seem hard Hard to create many different passwords, but an easy fix for this is using a password vault or password manager. I've used ones in the past like 1Password or KeepPass, and they essentially will uh, manage many different strong passwords for you so you don't have to remember them all. I want to point out one other trend here, which is that attackers are going after reward accounts. You know, British Airways is not the first. Attackers have gained access to United Mileage Plus accounts, they've gone after Hilton Honor guests, and many other rewards accounts in the past. So if you're a rewards member for any sort of service, you might want to make sure to use a very strong password. On top of that, if the site can support any sort of two-factor uh, authentication, I highly recommend that as well. In any case, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.